verify the following trigonometric identity. So, when we verify or prove a trigonometric identity, what we do is, we will start at the left side, okay? And then use the trigonometric identities that we know to transform this into this, okay? So that's what we will do. Okay, let's start at the left-hand side. So we have secant x minus cosine x. Now, the rule of thumb is to write everything in terms of sine and cosine. Okay, so since we have a secant here, we need to write that in terms of sine or cosine. Well, secant x is the reciprocal of cosine, so we can write that as 1 over cosine x, and then just copy minus cosine x. Okay? Then, we will try to simplify. Okay? So, the next step will be to write this as a single as a single term, okay, a single fraction, okay. Find the LCD, the LCD is cosine x, it's cosine x right here. Cosine x divided by cosine x times 1, that gives us 1. And then here, we supposed to have 1 in the denominator, um, so that's cosine x divided by 1 is cosine x times cosine x. That's minus cosine squared x. Next, we know that this is part of a trigonometric identity, namely Pythagorean identity. Okay? We know that this is equal to sine squared x. Okay? If you remember, let's write that here. Sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. Okay? So if we subtract cosine squared x both sides, cancels out. So we're left with sine squared x equals 1 minus cosine squared x. And that's exactly what we have here. So we can write this as sine squared x divided by cosine x. Now, let's look at this one because this is our guide. Okay, we want it to be something like that. So how can we achieve that? Well, we can split our sine squared x into sine x times sine x divided by cosine x. That's fine, right? And this guy right here is equal to tangent, right? So that's tangent of x times sine x. And that's it. Sine x times tangent x.